Ladies and gents, I'm just doing a walk at the moment around Clandon, North Wales, and come past the Most in Tandori. I will be, I'm not going to lie, I will be eating in another place today, but I have missed this place. So I'm only here for a starter, but I'm going to have a main starter and a bigger portion, and I'm going to order it to be super hot. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they do a naga infused sauce here, which will blow you away full of flavour. So let's hope for the best and uh, let's hope we'll get a table. Okay, guys, I have got music in the background, so obviously I've got the sound cancelling on. Um, I've ordered the tandoori mix, which is um, tandoori chicken, chicken tikka, lamb, I'm guessing that's last lamb tikka, um, shish kebab, garnish with fried onions. £13.95, that's actually a pretty decent price considering um, all the other places down the road um, that serve up near enough the same sort of thing but um, no, it's quite affordable, it's actually really good order some poppadums as well now one thing they did say to me is I've asked them to make this um, quite spicy now last time I was here, if you guys have a look at the video that I did uh, it was uh, most in tandoori um, I ordered like a chicken tikka and some lamb shish kebabs but what they managed to do was make a naga infused sauce which was actually amazingly done however um <coughs> the chef that did that for me originally is no longer here now you guys know that on the channel we've been places where the chefs have changed and this has changed that's changed change is good but not all the time so we're about to find out if this change is actually worth it or not so um Poppadoms with a pickle tray, um, it's around, so 350 for the pickle tray and then 95p for the poppadoms. Just saying, they normally give complimentary poppadoms, but those days are over maybe. Thank you very much, thank you sir. But uh, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt, I'm willing to ensure that we can give them a fair chance. So that looks like a chilli pickle. Oh wow. Yeah. That's good. Now, what I love is the, the yoghurt mint. It's been made fresh. Wow, that's got a kick. nice thick consistency of the yogurt perfectly perfect done that's the consistency you want to go for right let's try it out fortunately the music is a little bit loud but whatever really nice that to me is a proper yogurt mint chutney Perfect balance of all the flavours, enough salt, also enough mint, enough yoghurt, it's just perfect. So, the red chutney doesn't need to be on the menu. Literally like a sweet chilli sauce, not authentic Indian, it's just it's like something you might find in a Chinese restaurant, but it doesn't need to be there. Maybe make, me personally I'll say remove the the red sauce and replace it with a nice um, coriander mint. I know the yogurt mint does have a bit of coriander in there and a little bit of mint but when you make a chutney like something similar to what I make, a um, bit of mint, extra coriander, spring onion, uh, chilies, um, wine tomatoes, a bit of paprika and a tiny touch of um, tandoori masala mix that up and you've got yourself a spectacular authentic indian chutney that red one not authentic it's got a really nice seal actually looks good Personally, I would have given that another four, 
another four minutes in the uh, tandoor or even the grill just to give it a bit more softness it's a little bit chewy but it's cooked just not as soft as what I expect it to be a lot of food curry a lot of food curry but I can't yet see any spices or any any green chilies but whatever let's give it a try Chicken, massive portion, but I'd have to give the kebab at least. Um, I'd have to give the kebab at least a two out of ten. Not keen on it at all. Ah, now that, however, that was cooked perfectly. That's cooked perfectly. Got some uh, tandoori um, lamb tikka, perfectly cooked. It's very hard to get lamb tikka cooked to this level of perfection, but yeah, well done. No. Come back to you guys. I'll come back to you guys in a few minutes. Um, let's get this down a little bit and we'll talk to you when it's done. Right, unfortunately, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a letdown. There's hardly any flavour. It was some of the some of the meats on the sizzler plate were quite dry from the inside. They need to be juicy, they need to be really juicy and moist, but nah, definitely let me down in that respect. Uh way too much food colouring. Way too much. You don't need to have that much food colouring. I mean that's ridiculous, but Okay guys, so we had a little bit of a downfall at the Mustin Tandoori. Very unfortunate, but at the end of the day, if you can't absolutely nail those flavours, then you're really going to struggle getting big points with people like myself who work on YouTube and have a lot of experience in Indian cuisine. Not just because I go to a lot of restaurants, but it's because I also cook Indian food myself. So does my mum. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare. I want to show you the difference between the Mustin Tandoori Mixed Grill and the Bengal Dynasty one. Now as you've seen on my channel, I do tend to come to the Bengal Dynasty a lot. However, I have the same sort of food, but I'm going to change up a little bit today. I'm not going to eat a main meal, I'm just going to go for pretty much the same what I had at the Mostin Tandoori, which was a, a mixed sizzler. However, their mixed sizzler here is slightly different to uh, the other place I'll go to, but there you go. A few customers upstairs already, we'll have a quick look at the menu, so let's turn the camera around. Have a banquet Sunday night, you can get a starter. Oh, you get pop plums and chutneys as well, and a starter, and a main, and a side dish, and rice or naan. And how much is that? Uh, extra charge for king prawn and fish, one pound for starter, two pound for main, okay. I've got a swan, is that 16 or 17 pound? Well, I'll confirm that later. Here's the menu. So you've got the, the one I'm looking for is Balti specials, masala dishes. By the way, a lamb chili masala, 
goes down really nice, just let you know. Unfortunately, that's in the way, so I can't really show you, but we'll have a look at the menu upstairs. I pretty much know what I'm going to order. Now, they're mixed, uh, mixed grill. It doesn't have the lamb uh, tikka with it, but it does have the chicken tikka, has lamb shish kebabs, and it also has king prawns, and that's where it makes the price worth it, because you're getting king prawns with that. Unfortunately, the last place, don't do king prawns with their student starter. I'm getting too tired for stairs. My legs look pretty bad, but um, yeah, let's go inside. Right. It smells amazing. As soon as you walk in, you can smell that. It smells amazing. Oh, there you go. Look, sixteen ninety-five. I was right, near enough. That's an amazing price. So tandoori mixed grill. Here we go. Look, tandoori mixed grill. King prawns with a plain curry sauce as well. I'm going to challenge them a little bit. I'm going to ask them if they can make it spicy. I don't want a plain curry sauce. It has to be either a madras or a bindaloo. End of. So, just a quick question. Uh, can, would it be okay to have, uh, first of all, can I get a, uh, a pint of cobra, please? Sorry? A pint of cobra. A pint of cobra, yeah. And um, so to eat, I'm just going to have a starter today because I know you close at 11. So, I want to ask you, you know the tandoori mixed grill? Yeah. How many portions of king prawns are there? Because it says you got king one, prawns. One if I want to get extra king prawns, how much, how much would it be? That's okay. If I can add it on, yeah. Okay. And if I can have the tandoori mixed grill, like, really spicy, if, if possible. If you want spicy, I don't think so. No? Okay. Um... But with the shish kebabs and chicken tikka, yeah. you can make that spicy, can't you? We can make shish kebabs with the chicken tikka. Okay. Uh, you know it comes... Really yeah. Like you know when it comes with the plain curry sauce, can I change the plain curry sauce to like maybe a madras or a yeah. vindaloo curry yeah. sauce? That'll work out perfectly. So if I can have it with a, let's say, vindaloo, let's go all out. So let's go... Like, sir? Sorry? What would you like? Uh, the tandoori mixed grill. Mixed grill, yeah. So, as it's served with the plain, sauce, yeah? yeah, vindaloo sauce, correct, yeah, and extra prawns, please, sir. Extra king prawns, yes, please, sir. And uh, I'll have a naan with that as well, sir. May I have um, a just a plain naan should be fine, yeah. and that's pretty much it, sir. Uh, I just got a quick question do you do like fish tikka here? You don't, you don't do it because I know you do the dishes, don't you? Like prawn, uh, you do the fish, but you don't do it as a starter now. Okay, that's fine, no problem, sir. Um, yeah, I think that should be enough. Um, yeah, but if I can have the uh pint of cobra now, that'd be great. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. So, is this is this all your order? Yeah, yeah, yeah you just order? sorry, so you ordered one pint of cobra, one hundred meals, one pint of sauce, and two. Uh, extra king prawn, yeah? Yes, sir. And one plain number, yeah? Yes, sir. Anything else? No, that's it, sir. Thank you so much. Can I have the menu? Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. Cheers. And you have one of them? So, quick question. You know the... Is that the mango? Yeah, that, that one is mango, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want the mango. Uh, do you have the chili pickle? Yeah, you asked for mango. No, I said no mango. I said I want you all said, the... You said no uh, lime pickle. No, no, no. I said no mango. Uh, I, don't, I don't like sweet stuff. That's why... Um, if I can change that to the chili pickle, would that be okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm just going to make it complicated, don't I? But I did say no mango. You guys watch me on YouTube. I don't like mango. I hate it. Now, this is their garlic sauce. Apparently, it's got a kick. You used to have a bigger kick before. Comes in a little bit, goes back out, comes back in. Interesting, I like that. See, that's not what you touch that. Let's wait for the cobra. Here we go, guys. Got the cobra. Look at the head on that. Amazing point. And I've also got my chili pickle. 
look at that. That looks pretty deadly. Just a little bit of that and some onions. Along with some tomato, of course. Tiny scoop of, oh, excuse me, the mango. And there you go. So you've got the chilli pickle, uh, then you've got the onions, and then you've topped up with a little bit of the garlic chilli sauce that they make here. Don't really need the yoghurt. To be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of the yoghurt here. That's just my personal opinion, but that looks amazing. See that a mixture of flavours, just one after another. And then you get the cake at the end. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It sneaks up on you. Uh, it's going to be a mixed grill with extra prawns. And um, well, the prawns come with it, as you know. The prawns come with the mixed grill, unlike some places. Because when you've got a mixed grill, you need a bit of variety. It's meant to be a mixed grill, not a one-way grill. You want a bit of chicken. You want a bit of lamb. You want a bit of some kind of seafood because you've got the beach less than 100 meters you're gonna want to have some seafood in that now you only get one king prawn personally it would be nice to have two so only but the reason i say that if you're spending um 15 pounds on a mixed grill you want to, be able to have at least two king prawns maybe two three pieces of chicken tikka tandoori leg and a shish kebab and you're good to go but i'm having to pay extra for king prawns but Hopefully they give me enough king prawns. And then I've got the vindaloo sauce, which is great. Something they do in the Bangladeshi cuisine, uh, the culture, is they have, in most Indian, in most Bengali-style restaurants, they have the sizzler. Always comes with a, a, a curry sauce. And I'm thinking, I've never seen that before. Why do people do that? But you know what? I thought this wasn't on for a second. You know what? I'll be honest with you. It's actually a really good idea. Because then you can turn it into your own kind of curry. You can have a mixed variety of curry. You can have mix that curry sauce with a bit of naan and some chicken tikka, some prawns, some shish kebab. By the way, the shish kebabs here, legendary. But um, yeah, can't wait for them to come. In fact, you can hear it. You can hear the sizzle straight away. Lovely. That looks amazing. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And that looks like a proper mix grill. And there you go, thank you, you so much. The batter is very hot. Is it done by your Okay. Yeah, the batter is very hot. Is it done by your Right. Okay. This one is plain naan, and this is your madras sauce. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Sorry, I hope it is vindaloo. And yeah. uh, just over there, it's fine, sir. Yeah. That's great. Soup. Straight away. Super soft. That place. I was getting the knife and I was doing with the chicken, it was that hard. And the kebab, yeah. and the kebab, they put so much colouring, it was unbelievable. This, this, this to me is a proper lamb shish kebab. I mean, super soft, no food colouring, just natural as it is. Yeah, natural, yeah. Not and you've put green chilies inside as well. Yeah, because you like it, yeah. I do. That is, that no, just, that way you like, you made it. without even tasting it, I can tell you straight away, that's going to be a 10. But wow, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. You're, you're very welcome. This place never let me down. And um, Monobai, if you're listening, as always, they never let me down. Fantastic. Look how easy this cuts, guys. Look how easy this is. See how easy that was? That is super easy. That's when you know it's been cooked perfectly. Whoops. Do quick question. Do you do lamb tikka here at all? You don't do lamb tikka because I always thought with the mixed grill you might get some lamb tikka, but that's yeah. okay. What I like with your mixed grill is you actually give some prawns. No one else gives prawns. Yeah. So it's nice to have a mixture. So you're getting chicken, you're getting chicken tikka, tandoori leg, and you're getting king prawns and the shish kebab. It's a perfect mixed grill for the perfect price. It's fifteen pounds something, right? Yeah, I thought the price. Fifteen ninety-five. If I'm not mistaken, we'll double check that. We'll put it over here so you can have a look. But so, could I have a glass of water with ice and lemon? Oh my god. Seriously? Um, it just melts in your mouth. Bloody hell. 
That is something else. Whoa. Whoa. That is insane. You know what? Let's take a proper closer look. Look at that. And just look at the chicken tikka look. It's so soft, it's unbelievable. And watch, look at the magic, watch. Look at that, see that? Cuts easy. One-handed. Got the king prawn there, and that's a big king prawn. So the fact that I paid extra for another one, look. Look at that, watch. Perfectly cooked. Soft. Let's put that over here. And just look at that. The knife is straight in. Watch. One. Two. Nice and easy, no effort at all. Even though the chicken tikka is not spicy, even though in Sheriff and Job in Tenerife, uh, Los Cristianos, another restaurant that I stand by, um, they can turn anything spicy. And it's not a case of adding a bit of chilli powder. They actually have a bit of marinade that they put on top and then cook it. Oh my God, it is legendary. But you know what? Even though it's not spicy, it is absolutely tasty. I'm going to have the kebab at the end because it's just too good. A little bit crispy outside, but it's super soft inside. A bit of vindaloo sauce, just a little bit. Bloody hell. Whoa, whoa. That's definitely rendered. Oh my god, that is something else. We've got to try the prawns. Yeah, that vindaloo sauce is good. Oh, oh my god. Mm. That for me, it's just spot on. Oh, it just look, it just goes straight through it. Whoops, it just meat is coming off the bone, perfectly cooked. Taste 10 out of 10. Look, see how easy that is. I'm gonna have to do it, I don't want to, but. Oh my god. No ridiculous amount of food coloring. I know you can be look closely, you can see the green chilies in there. That made fresh and made with love. Thank you so much, sir. That's great. Thank you. Cheers. You know any lost for words? Just coming out of the Bengal dynasty. Wow, absolutely amazing.